actually it's it's not possible to act in a normal way we know that those COVID-19 measures have a huge impact on the performance of rituals, especially the measure of social distancing and the rule that you may only receive three people in the house. And we see also the impact of those measures on the societal rituals. So, for example, we saw an empty dam square this year on the 4th of May with only the Queen and the King um, doing the ritual of commemorating the victim victims of war. And we see a lot of new rituals, for example, the greeting rituals. Uh, we have to find a new pattern of greeting each other. And a remarkable ritual is the applause for the healthcare employees, which uh, we saw people doing that um, mainly in the first period of the lockdown. Well, like now in COVID, in times of COVID, you have to reinvent everything. We don't know how to celebrate Christmas. We don't know how to celebrate uh, New Year's Eve because there's no fireworks anymore. So we cannot blow each other's brains out. And that's also a nice ritual, of course. And, and now we need to invent something new, right? And that's extremely hard. In the Netherlands, uh, a great part of the Christmas rituals are influenced by Albert Heijn, so the supermarket eh, in its magazine, Allerhande. It's there it's prescribed, you might say, how to decorate your house and what to eat. You can read in a mixture of, of feel-good language and commercialized recipes. But what if you are not happy in these days with a huge dinner? Uh, why should you organize a four or five course dinner if you are not able to invite your family or your friends due to the corona measures. Uh, what if you can't travel home? I think of our international students, for example. And uh, what if you have to spend your Christmas days with only a few friends or even on your own? Spend part of your time in an unusual way. Uh, go to a museum, an online museum, walk or start every day with reading a poem. And if we look at space, decorate your home, use candles and other unusual sources of, of light and perhaps play the game of candles. Eh? Start seven days before Christmas on the 19th of December and lit every day uh, one more candle, ending up with seven candles burning on Christmas morning. And the meaningful acting, you can organize a dinner for just a few people you would normally not invite. Uh, or organize lunch sessions with friends and discuss a topic that's really relevant to you. Uh, ask questions like, what have you learned in the previous month that you will take with you in the new year? Or what does Christmas mean to you? Or you can also do other things. You can write a reflection on this year, on 2020, your personal experiences, and send this reflection to all your friends together with a Happy New Year card. And so you can design these small ritual-like uh, actions, practices um, to replace the more event-like prescribed normal way of doing in the December month because actually it's, it's not possible to act in a normal way or to uh, transform the rituals in such a way that they are still meaningful. So find out, be creative, find out new rituals.